All right, so now let's do a few examples where we want to determine the unknown using the law of the lever. Now, what is the law of the lever? Well, it's this formula here that tells us that the effort force multiplied by the distance that the effort's applied at is equal to the force of the load multiplied by the distance that the load is applied at. So that tells us the theory behind this formula. Now let's do a couple of uh, questions and examples where we get to apply this equation. So let's, let's look at this first one here. Our unknown is going to be this Fe, so the force of the effort. So we are applying this load, and it's an unknown, and we want to solve for it. So let's look at our formula again, and I'm going to write it out here, Fe times DE is equal to FL times DL. And let's fill in the values that we know. So DE is a value we know. DE, we're going to write um, 3 feet. And FE, remember, is our unknown, so I'm going to keep that as FE. And that will be equal to FL times DL. So what's our FL? It's going to be 100 newtons. And then our DL is 5 feet. All right, and simple as that, we've got our formula set up. We've got all of our, um, all of our values plugged into the equation. Now it's just a matter of simplifying and isolating for our unknown. So to do that, we're going to bring this 3 feet down to the other side as a division because here it's a multiplication, so we bring it to the other side and it will be a division. So Fe is equal to 100 newtons, uh, and I'm actually going to do this multiplication step right here. So it's going to be 500 uh, newton feet divided by 3 feet. You can see uh, we'll have some units that cancel out here, the feet. And we're going to be left with Fe is equal to 166.66 repeating newtons. So for our final answer, let's round this, uh, we'll round this to three significant digits, 167 newtons. All right, so that's the first example done. Let's do the second example now, where we are given um, the effort force, an effort distance, and a load distance. And our unknown is going to be the force of the load. So once again, let's set up our equation. Fe times DE is equal to FL times DL. And again, let's just start plugging in our values. So 215 pounds times DE. So DE, it's the distance from the effort to the fulcrum. And that's an important, important point to realize. It's the distance from the effort all the way to the fulcrum. So it's not... It's not just this value here. It's not from the effort to the load. It's the entire three feet plus three feet is equal to seven feet. So the effort is applied seven feet from the fulcrum. And that is equal to FL is our unknown times DL 3.5 feet. All right, and again, this was pretty easy. All we have to do is isolate for our unknown, and we're going to do that by bringing this term to the other side of the equation, and it will be a division on the other side. So let's write that out. FL is going to be equal to 
Put this here. 115 pounds. And once again, I'm just gonna actually multiply these two together in this step. So it will be 1,505 pound feet divided by 3.5 feet. That is equal to FL. And we just type this into our calculator and we will get that FL is equal to 430 pounds. Noticing that the feet cancel out and we're left with just the units of pounds. All right, hopefully that wasn't too bad. Uh, I just want to do one last example with you here and hopefully you'll have the hang of it. Again, our unknown is going to be the distance that the effort is applied. So we got this five pound, sorry, this five pound load and we're trying to lift it up and we're applying 30 pounds and we want to know at what distance do we apply that 30 pounds to hold up this five pound load at four meters. So let's write this formula again. Fe times DE is equal to FL times DL. And the values we know, we have 30 pounds multiplied by DE is equal to five pounds times four meters. And isolating for DE, we have to bring this 30 pounds to the other side of the equation. So let's do that just like this. So distance of the effort is equal to this multiplication here will be 20 pound meters. divided by 30 pounds. And our pounds will cancel out and we'll be left with just meters. And a final answer of two over three meters, or another way to write that as a decimal would be 0 0.666, uh, repeat meters. Uh, but for the sake of this question, I'm going to keep it in one significant digit because some of our numbers that were given are one significant digits. So we would write that as DE is equal to 0 0.7 meters.